Hey guys, this is TK with XA Developers TV at Mobile World Congress 2016, and we are here at the Samsung booth with Samsung Connect Auto. This is Samsung's uh, other feature that was released at the same time as the S7 and S7 Edge, and one of the main benefits that they were sending here is that they want to be able to get it into a connected car environment. Is it worth it? Is it going to work? I'll make sure to check on everything for you guys, so let's go ahead and dive in. This is the actual OBD2 connecting port uh, module. This is actually still in beta form, or they're using it in uh, prototype testing, actually. Uh, the reason we mentioned this, because this actually still has a micro USB charging and a reset button that, um, from what I understand, is gonna go away. Uh, the aesthetics itself is actually pretty nice. We do seem to have a SIM card option here, which you're able to change the SIM card uh, depending on the carrier. Uh, originally, as far as I understand, in the US, it's gonna be available in uh, summer of this year, so after a second quarter on AT&T. The other thing that we have here that's a little different than the other manufacturer is the implementation of the software package. Uh, this again connects via your OBD port uh, directly underneath your uh, uh, steering wheel on most cars. And uh, as far as actual connection itself, it has LTE built in. Also has the ability to share its connection with the car so you can definitely use it as a hotspot. Um, but the software information as far as what's provided with this is a one software solution. And the other thing here also, we are actually having Kaizen running on this unit. And from the system itself, as well as actually the uh, information, it is protected by Knox. So definitely uh, Samsung's taking this system into the next level with providing more security, more options for people to stay safe, and then more connectivity. It has built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, as well as uh, LTE for being able to connect it to the cloud. Let's go ahead and switch over to the actual application. I'll show you some of the main information you can get from it. We've switched over to an actual Galaxy S7 right now. It's running the Samsung Connect Auto application on the unit itself. Uh, and it gives us some information as far as what you can do. You can obviously have Samsung Connect Auto tethering detected, which you're able to basically turn on. Geofencing, unexpected vehicle movement. So if you're not expecting the car to move, you can get that. Uh, you can get aggregate data information as far as journey, information as far as how many kilometers have you gone, obviously, or miles in the U.S. Uh, driving score, you can collect it and see exactly how you're performing, hard brakes, um, uh, hard braking here, hard acceleration, kilometers over uh, last distance. Definitely things that you can definitely appreciate. Fuel consumption is also measured here and it's pretty accurate as far as the measurement as this is information provided over the OBD, OBD port currently. Uh, last but not least, if you have a check engine light that turns on your car, you're able to check and see what the options are to be able to get it fixed. Uh, of course, you can turn on the hotspot here. It will be available through AT&T initially, so that's something you want to keep an eye on. And last but not least, you're actually able to provide information here if you have a good driving score to use it to get a lower insurance rate on your app, uh, on your driving, uh, you know, for your insurance policy. Something very nice. Uh, I've seen this a lot of different companies that provide an OBD uh, connector to measure how the performance of your driving is. But this one is done directly with the application and runs very nice. And then at the last here, we have a little bit of, yeah, I thought that we'd have the ability of adding a little bit more things. Um, overall, integration with the car, it looks very, very, very nice. There's going to be some options that we're going to be able to basically integrate. Uh, there's no additional tabs here. To integrate with the car as far as unlocking doors, unlocking uh, the trunk, uh, using NFC. But that's going to be dependent on the actual manufacturer of the car. So I'm going to try to get you guys some footage of the actual connected car that's in uh, one of the other halls here at MWC. Okay, so now I'm actually next to the connected car itself. This is a Fiat. It's the red car in the background here. Um, we have one of the dongles installed in this car. Now, Samsung basically has given us some of the additional features that you normally don't get unless the manufacturer is building in some of these functionalities. So you notice that we have this extra little option here that we didn't have before when we were looking at the application, and that's because now you can control some functionalities within the car. You have the ability of locking the car, which now the car is unlocked, you notice it said it's locked. We have the ability of unlocking the car, which is also another option here that you normally don't have. And we also have the ability of opening up the trunk, as well as to be able uh, to actually go ahead and basically honk the horn. As you guys see here with the actual hands-on feature that we had, it basically is a really good option self-contained within one application, which is really where Samsung's bringing it in. They're not basically giving you the option to basically say, let's go ahead and install multiple applications to do it, but in conjunction with the manufacturers of the car, you can definitely get all these features built in. So as you guys saw, we saw the actual module itself, we saw how the application looks like, and again, this is on a tablet now, but we saw it on a mobile device. We saw the application of the actual system in a car, being able to unlock the car, lock it, open the trunk, do different things. And again, this is a really good venture as far as what Samsung's doing here, because they're giving you the solution to all the things that you need for this connected car in one application. 
production. And you're able to do all of this, of course, in conjunction with the car manufacturers. So it's not necessarily just one part, but as long as your car is set up for it, you can definitely take advantage of this system. Keep it with us here at xcadevelopers.com for all the coverage that we have from MWC 2016. Uh, thank you guys. Leave comments below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.